What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, The Mad Wolf, doing another action figure review, this time on the Super Saiyan Godson Goku. I'm really excited to open this box, guys. And taking a look at the box, we get the figure clearly displayed with his name on the side. And then we get promotional images on the front, the back, on the side, and even on the bottom. All right, that was taking a look at the box. Now let's take a look at what I think is gonna be an awesome figure. Here he is, the Super Saiyan God Goku. And one thing I wanted to point out first that I'm really glad about is that there is shading on this figure. Lately, Tamashi Nations hasn't been putting too much shading on their figures, so I'm really glad that they decided to do that with the Super Saiyan God Goku. I do wish the sculpt was a little leaner. If you follow Dragon Ball Super or if you watch the Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods movie, then you would know that the Super Saiyan God form is supposed to be lean. So I do wish this was a bit leaner, but just a little nitpick. Most of the shading is in the front, not too much on the back, but still it is a really nice looking figure, very clean paint job. However, I did get just a little blue paint splotch right here. I'm sure this is just my figure, not a big deal. We also get the new Goku head sculpt with a couple of extra spikes. So that is really cool. Um, and then if we take a closer look here, you can see that his irises are actually a nice reddish pink. So overall, really nice sculpt. I am really liking the look of this figure. All right, that was taking a look at Goku. Now on to his accessories. Looking at the accessories, as you can see, Goku comes with five pairs of hands and four faces. One pair of hands is a pair of fists, because every action figure should come with that. And then we come with a pair of karate chop hands. We come with some clawing hands, or kamehameha hands, for the Dragon Ball figures. And then we also get some wide open palm hands, or key blast hands. And then we get the karate hands. So strangely, this Goku does not come with the instant transmission hand like every other Goku does. And then onto the faces. This face here does have the smallest little bit of paint on his lip there. I don't know if you can see that. This is the face that comes on the figure. It's just a simple poker face. And then we get a slightly smiling face looking very nice. Looking really good. And then we get his gritted teeth face, looking very nice. I like the detail on the teeth, looks really awesome. I love the sculpt. And then we get the angry yelling face. So if you're going to put these faces onto the figure, you'll see that there are two pegs here. And what you would do, you would just take the figure itself. You take this hair piece, just remove that. Oh, okay, got that, got that. And then you're just going to take his face, put it into the bottom two holes here. Make sure it's nice and snug. And then you would just take the hair piece and match it up. Let's get that in. And there you go. All right, guys, that was looking at the accessories. I do wish he came with a little more, but it is what it is. On to his articulation. Being an SH Figure Arts figure, it comes as no surprise that this is a very articulated action figure. For his head, he can look about that far up, not too far up, and about that far down. He can turn his head left and right, and yes, he can pivot his head side to side. His arms can rotate 360 degrees. They go about that far up, and then he does have a bicep swivel double jointed elbow and he does have a wrist swivel which allows him to bring his hands to either go side to side or in and out if i can just get it. there we go in and out for his waist articulation he can lean forward well really all the way around which is really great and then he can turn left and right as well for leg articulation, his legs go about that far forward, a pretty good amount forward, and about that far back, so you can definitely do have him do a Van Damme kick. <clears throat> his legs split not too much. I do wish he could uh, kick his legs to the side a little further just to get those cool martial arts poses, but it is what it is. 
For his knees, he does have a double jointed knee, which is very nice. And then for foot articulation, he can point his toes. He does have some toe articulation as well. And then he does have some ankle pivot. So that is awesome. All right, that was taking a look at his articulation. Now on to some size comparisons. And for the size comparison, first we have Goku next to some other SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball figures. And of course he is in great scale with them. And I am really excited to pose Goku with my Lord Beerus here. That'll be really cool. And here he is next to the Marvel Legends Uncanny X-Force Deadpool and the Mezco Shadowland Daredevil. And last here he is next to all the other Goku figures I have. And this is pretty cool. I have kind of a order of Goku's transformations going on here. So I think that's pretty cool. But one thing that caught my eye is that this Super Saiyan God Goku, I was expecting him to be shorter because the Super Saiyan 3 Goku is shorter than most of the older Goku figures. And I was thinking they're the same new body mold. So gotta be the same height but no this is actually in really good scale with the older Goku figures so I was wondering why is that so at a closer look you'll notice that the waist on the Super Saiyan God Goku is actually a little longer than our Super Saiyan 3 Goku here so that is just something interesting to notice so this guy is taller that is really cool, because one of the little nitpicks I had with the Super Saiyan 3 Goku was that he was a little shorter. So, I am really glad that this guy fits into scale with all the other Gokus. Alright, that was taking a look at the size comparisons. Now, on to my final thoughts. For my final thoughts, I think this is a really good figure, guys. I do think he should have come with a couple of more accessories and maybe a little bit of a slimmer sculpt. But besides that, the articulation and the paint job are great. And it's really great to finally have the Super Saiyan God Goku. I really recommend this to any big fan of Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Super if you're watching that right now. And now we have every Saiyan form of Goku, so that's really great. And yes, he does have a new form, Ultra Instinct, so if Tamashii Nations decides to make that, that'll be really cool. Alright guys, this is the Mad Wolf signing out. If you like this video, like and subscribe, join the Wolf Pack. I hope you all have a great day. Peace. First size comparison, here we have our Super Saiyan God Goku next to the SH Figure Arts Vegeta, and Vegeta like to fall, okay. <laughs>